So here we're in the bunker. Some of the amateurs uh, that I play with, the most terrifying part of the game for them. But if we have a, a basic idea of what the, the sandwich should be doing, what our setup should be doing, and what you should be doing in the swing, the basic bunker shot is really very easy. Now, with the sand wedge, it's designed a little differently. It has some bounce, so if we keep the club face open, coming on the backswing, downswing, and coming through the ball, you'll find the ball will pop up out of the bunker very easy. Now, to do that, it's very important to set up the correct way. So, we're going to have our feet, shoulders, and hips going around about 30 degrees off to the left, or slightly open. We're going to have the club face open. Now it's important, uh, a lot of amateurs will actually hold the grip and then they'll open the club face. And what I'd like you to do is make sure that in the setup, make sure you open the club face first and then take your grip. That's one of the most important things to keep the club face open and using the bounce correctly. So once we have hold the club out, you can go through your normal grip routine, but make sure rather than toe up, I'd like to see the club face Again, we're maybe going around 10 meters to the right. Take your grip, your feet, get your feet about shoulder width apart, work them in. Your body is going 30 degrees off to the left. The ball position is just forward of center. So now we're in a position where we can, the weight is slightly forward. We can really actually hit down on the ball. Now the important thing, once you're set up, what I'd like to see, most amateurs take a very small swing at it and chopping down at the ball. What I'd like you to see in the swing is I'd like to see a much longer, more flowing action. So again, we get the, the club face open, take our grip, put the ball position forward, we're leaning forward, our body is open. Just do some practice swings beside the ball, make a long, flowing swing, and I want to hear the sound. So a good bunker player will make a good sound. Then I'd like you to put that onto the ball. Set up, long flowing, long flowing action, and really make the sound of the, the sand splashing out onto the green. Now if you go through those points, I'm sure that you'll get the ball out of the bunker every time and take a little money off your buddies.